Okay, so we're gonna go over a couple things here. This is actually an important slide, so if you can try to try to pay attention a little bit. And what you see here is a picture of a of a man's forehead, frontalis muscle. And there's several points that I want to make here. One, one point that's really important, and I see this a lot in my practice, is how to inject a male patient versus a female patient. Because there is there is definitely a difference. And the thing is I see patients all the time that come to my practice and their eyebrows are crooked. Okay, their eyebrows are actually spocked like this, okay? And it doesn't look nice in a male or a female patient. All right, so the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is if you look at this slide, is how to inject a male patient. Unless the patient, for some strange reason, really wants to have angled eyebrows, typically what you do, what you do is you start all the way from lateral, all the way from one side of the, the forehead, okay? So you start all the way on one side of the forehead and you go across the forehead like this, okay? What happens is, this, this is a common, a common problem is that the person may have lines just in the center of their of their forehead, okay? Just in the center part of the forehead. So the doctor naturally says, well, let me let me treat those wrinkles. And then he goes and he just does some injections right in the middle. And when you just inject right in that area, right in the middle, what you're doing is you're injecting the frontalis, so you're relaxing the frontalis, but only in the center part. So this part comes down, but you haven't injected anywhere over here, the frontalis. So that maintains its strength and tonicity, and this comes up. So the sides come up, okay, because you haven't done anything, you haven't relaxed that muscle, and the center part relaxes. And the result is you have this unusual look with the eyebrows, okay? So what you wanna do is whenever you inject a male for sure, and most of the time with a female too, is make sure you start far enough laterally and go all the way across. And I have some pictures on that. That's the key thing. You go from one side all the way to the other, but make sure you start enough laterally that you're injecting the whole forehead, all right? So that's how you inject the male patient. Now, if you have a female patient that wants the lateral eyebrow lift, this is one way you can actually get this lateral eyebrow lift, all right, is where you just do most of your injections in the center, okay? You don't inject so much over here, the lateral frontalis, and as a result, you'll get more of this lateral eyebrow lift, okay? So this is good if you have a female patient that has wrinkles just in the center, okay? And their eyebrows are just all the way down and they want to get a lateral eyebrow lift and at the same time they only have wrinkles right in the middle. That would be a good technique. Remember we talked a little while ago about lateral eyebrow lift, how to, how to get a lateral eyebrow lift the other way, right? Do you remember? What was the dosage? Point two. Uh, two units. Yeah. Correct, two units. Okay, so you inject two units right here in lateral orbicularis and that's going to bring the eyebrow up. So that's the first thing I wanted to tell you about the slide, male versus female differences.